Want a chance to put your crime solving skills to the test and get ready to be like those crime solvers on NCIS, CSI and Law and & Order and solve a mystery based on the real life story of one of the world's biggest art capers when 13 masterworks of art worth half a billion dollars were literally ripped from the walls. The FSCJ Artist Series is back with this all new interactive show, Art Heist, perfectly designed for a pandemic. Joining me here on The Morning Show is the mastermind of this unique form of theater, the writer and director of Art Heist, T.J. Daw. Hey, good morning. Good morning. So, Very thankful to be here. It's uh, good to have you here. So Broadway's been shut down. We haven't had shows here for the longest time. And you realized that COVID changed the game, at least for the time being. So you got really creative. How so? Live entertainment stopped when lockdown hit for all the obvious reasons. And then Justin Suds, who is the producer of the show, one of the producers of the show, realized there's a loophole that if you keep people outdoors, if you keep them physically distanced from each other, if you keep them physically distanced from the actors, everybody can stay safe. Everybody can be six feet apart. Everybody can wear their masks and we can have outdoor live entertainment and we can interact. So Justin found the loophole in the lockdown and we created the show Art Heist, which debuted in Vancouver in September. And Jacksonville is now the seventh city where it's being produced. So it all happens outdoors. Everything is safe, and the audience is actively investigating this still unsolved mystery. So this show is based on something that really happened, a huge art theft and perhaps the greatest art thief of all time. What's the backstory? Thirteen works of art were stolen on St. Patrick's Day from the Stuart Gardner Museum in Boston. So these 13 items total half a billion dollars in worth, half a billion not one of them has been recovered. Not one arrest has been made. These things are still out there. It's a crazy story. And I've since found out that museum security policy everywhere has changed because of what happened at the Garden Museum that night, 1990. So the format of the show is that the audience has a role. The audience is a batch of new art recovery investigators for the FBI. And they're being brought around to interview the top four suspects. And they can ask them anything they want to try and figure out, okay, is there a gap in anybody's story? Is there any stone we haven't turned, unturned yet? And then at the end, they submit their guess as to here's who we think was most likely to be involved of these four people. So they're totally immersed in the play in a socially distanced way. From those who've experienced in the past, what's their reaction been? Well, there's a few different things. One, it's true crime. It is a true story. We're not fabricating anything. On the other hand, it's an entirely bloodless story. So you can bring kids to this. You can bring your parents. You can bring family. You can bring anybody you want. And we've had sometimes kids, you know, it's not necessarily a family show, but it's also, like I said, not brutal. So we've had kids come and see the show at age like 9, 10, or 11. And there's sometimes some of the most active detectives they are. Kids are not afraid to ask you questions and they're not afraid to ask bizarre questions. So there's that. There's the ability to actually immerse yourself in the story and play detective for an hour and a half. But the other thing, and it was a while working on the show before even I realized this, the big gift that the audience gives is the fact that it's interactive. So we've all been on lockdown for more than a year now. We've been watching Netflix. We've been reading books. We've been listening to albums, et cetera, et cetera. I do all of those things. I love all of those things. But they're the same every time. That movie is the same every time you watch it. That book is the same time every time you read it. This show is not. This show is radically different. All theater is different every time because it's live. You know, every actor calibrates their performance to what the audience is giving them. But this, the audience has an active role. They're walking from place to place. They're interviewing the actors. They're asking tough questions. They're asking weird questions. They're asking funny questions. And the actor's job is to roll with it, to say yes and, and just go with it. So it's different every time. And people love that. And I don't know how much we realize We've missed this because if there's any danger to the quality of the show, it's from people wanting to ask more and more questions and it just runs too long. So people are digging this. And this is why it's been happening in 10 cities since September. Well, it sounds really cool, TJ. And thanks for joining us. Let me tell people more about it. If you want to play detective, now's your chance with the FSCJ Artist Series. Three weeks worth of socially distanced performances in limited groups. Dates right there on your screen. For tickets, go to fscjartistseries.org.